Good evening, everyone, and we have breaking news from Metro North. <clears throat> and is that we receive a notification from a notified YC that a person was struck by a train on Metro North. Let's see which line is it. Okay, we have on the hard on line, we have uh, delays in into uh, Grand Central. <clears throat> Due to a person struck by a train in the vicinity of Merrill's and Tremont. Inbound trains will not stop at Fordham, Tremont, and Merrill's. Customers should travel to 125th Street and a uh, change for outbound train. <clears throat> and for those of viewers who follow Matt Camper, uh, Matt Camper will be live shortly to report about this. Okay, we have, <clears throat> sorry about that. We have a uh, delays of 10 to 15 minutes on the Hudson line. On the New Haven line, uh, is experiencing delays of 35 to 40 minutes. Uh, but we don't know as of yet if uh, New York City Transit is going to cross honor. In the nearby stations, <clears throat> the only thing that they're saying is that the Harlem and New Haven lines are delayed because of a person struck by a train at Tremont. This was at 7.27, so I'll say about an hour ago. My best advice, if you are at Grand Central or 125th Street, take the 4 train to nearby stations. If you're going from Grand Central. <clears throat> Let's see if my Metro North feature could help us in this. And we're going to go from south to north. So let's start at Grand Central. <coughs> I wonder why Grand Central is not listed. Okay, we don't see. We don't see Harlem 125th Street. Okay, here it is, Harlem 125th Street. Okay, we have the, the trains uh, 1383 going to Stanford. The Harlem line going to southeast. 
So basically we have the 750, A01, A04, A08, 817 trains that are affected right now at 125th Street. <clears throat> Let's go to our uh, Twitter, see what we have. Okay, my camper is um, monitoring uh, this. And of course, this is not the first incident that we have on the commuter rails today. As you guys know, six hours ago, and thanks to Cuomo Corruption for letting me know about this, uh, we had an incident at uh, Kew Gardens where a person was struck by a train. <clears throat> and uh, we have a uh, Matt Camper sending me this tweet from Kevin Omari that he is at Grand Central. Apparently, let's see if we could uh, zoom in. Looking at the New Haven uh, line board. So trains to and from Grand Central are affected by this. My suggestion is, if you're going to the following stations, use the 4 train. Harlem, 125th Street. Uh, Melrose. Tremont. And Fordham. Botanic Garden. But let's see what else uh, <clears throat> Metro North is saying because about this. Okay, the last information that they they posted is that the Hudson Line they have delays of ten to fifteen minutes. So trains. Going towards Grand Central and then stop at Fordham, Tremont, and Melrose. So people have to get to 125th Street and get on the next train going north. On the New Haven line, they have Okay, my camper just sending me something. Yep. Citizen app. And this was reported at 718. So, uh, since that, uh, okay, we're going to use our phone to locate Park Avenue in the Bronx and, and East 163rd Street. Okay, St. Marrow's. <laughs> and as you as you guys see, that's the area we're talking about Marisania in the Bronx. Just like um uh, let's say less than a mile away from uh, 161st Street Yankee Stadium. 
So if you need to get to this area, it is going to be a nightmare. But in other words, on the Long Island Railroad, we have the 740 train from Babylon to Penn Station 855 departed 12 minutes late due to an earlier equipment trouble. <clears throat> and also we have some delays on our Conqueror branch. Uh, we have the, the 650, 635 train from Ronkonkoma due to pin at 756 is up playing 11 minutes late to those through Deer Park due to sleepy rail because we are we are having rain tonight and also our uh, eastbound service is being affected by the 553 train from Penn due to run on 714 is up rain 11 minutes late to head page new trade lead train ahead and we have also the 653 train from Ronkonkoman due to Greenport at 817 as departed 15 minutes late due to a late arriving connection. <coughs> and also we have delays on the subways. The two signal problems at the express track at 51st Street are uh, some northbound four and five trains are running local along the Lexington Avenue line from Brooklyn Bridge City Hall to 125th Street. And some northbound five trains are running on the two from Nevin Street and Brooklyn to 149th Street Grand Concourse. And also on the Staten Island Railway, uh, we have uh, trains that are running slower speed because of the inclement weather. So please advise. Let's see what people are saying in Twitter regarding the the issue of Metro North. Okay, we have that. Uh, this just came in through the wires. That uh, inbound service, that means trains going towards Grand Central, will not stop at Fordham, Tremont, and Merrill. Customers should travel to 125th Street and board a northbound train. But as of yet, we're not seeing cancellations <clears throat> on Metro North tonight. Let's see Merrill. Okay, the next train going to Grand Central from Merrill's arrives at 8.44. Then the next train at 9.44. Then the following trains arrive at 8.34 and 9.39. Uh, and any queue, I'm, I'm aware of it. Uh, thanks, uh, Joel, for joining me 
Thank you for joining me, Matt. Uh, thank you for joining me, Alex and Andy Q. Uh, we are monitoring this uh, pretty closely since I received the notification on Notify NYC. But no cancellations informed as of yet. And for those who follow Matt Camper, he will be um, covering this live in the next uh, few minutes. So we have a bumpy day on, on the region. Okay, let's let's do something. Okay, if you don't want to take, okay, let's say if you, if you don't want to take, uh, let's say if you don't, if you don't want to get to part of 125th Street to go back up, here are some uh, alternatives. See, the incident happened right here at Merrill's. That's pretty close by on the 161st Street Yankee Stadium subway station on the 4 and D line. For the next station north, that is Tremont. You could take the nearby uh, D train station. Or Burnside Avenue. and transfer to the BX40 and 42 buses that will leave you at nearby uh, Tremont Station. Let's say if you're going to Fordham, that's the next station north. You could take the D to Fordham Road and uh, you can either take the BX-12 select bus service, the BX-12 local, the BX-9, or you could simply uh, walk it. Or you can take the 4 train and nearby Fordham Road along the Jerome Avenue line and take the BX-12 local and BX-12 select bus service. Next station. Botanical Garden. This one could be a little bit tricky because the only the only bus route that you have nearby is the BX twenty six that connects the two train at Allenton Avenue in the east and both Bedford Park Boulevard on the 4 and D trains. Then the next station on north of Botanical Garden it will be already uh, Williams Bridge. You have the BX41 select bus service that takes you to and from Fordham. Plus, you have the two train 
plus you have the VX28, VX30, and VX38. The VX30, I think, that connects to the 12th Street station on the D-Line. That is about right here. No, actually it's the BX-28. My bad, it's the BX-28. But if you're trying to get to uh, Grand Central, from 125th Street, you could take the four or six trains. If you're at Yankees East 153rd Street on the Hudson Line, you could walk to the nearby four MD train stations to get to Manhattan, or Take the BX6 select bus service from Melrose to the Yankees East 153rd Street and that way get to uh, GCT. Uh, that could be an out that could be an option and the cube but the thing is that right now we're trying to focus on those people that want to get to GCT from the stations in the Bronx let's see if we have more updates from Metro North Okay, now they're saying that the Danbury branch is experiencing delays between 25 minutes to half an hour due to a late connecting trains from a person being struck by a train in the vicinity of Merrill's and Tremont. On the New Haven line, uh, trains will not stop at Oro. And the New Haven line trains are having delays up to almost an hour. So if you're close, okay, and we have on the new Canon branch, it's experiencing delays up to 40 minutes due to late connecting trains resulting from a person struck by a train in the vicinity of Melrose and Tremont. So the trains are moving little by little. See, according to my my m l n r dot org, uh, the only train that is late is train six eighty one on the Harlem line going to southeast. But the, all the rest is on time.
but no trains arriving as of yet to Grand Central. Let's see if Metro North has updated something on Twitter. Let's see what the people are saying about this on Twitter. This is a tweet from Mr. Yun. That is the 817 train. If you don't recognize the stop is GCT. Of course it's GCT. And you have a M3 on the right. Your own station master said they're waiting on a crew. It's GCT. Are you in a race to the bottom with Eli the Ballard in the subway? You just about passing them. And this is a picture you have on the left of uh, um, uh, M3A. And on your right, you have the shoreliner. Uh, the oval is uh, asking why, spe why specifically Harlem Line when New Haven Line is just as effective. Of course, the New Haven Line and the Harlem Line share the tracks until Woodlawn. But again, miscommunication. Okay, we have two notifications on Twitter. Okay, thank you, Cole Quanchen, for sending uh, liking my tweets. We have nothing yet. Uh, let's check on the other side of the Hudson. To see if we have um, anything new on NKT. We have the Princeton uh, shallow dinky uh, remain suspended due to mechanical issues. Too bad for those who are going to print to Princeton. Meanwhile, we have uh, the 638 train from Secaucus is up to 15 minutes late on the North Jersey coastline. We have the Morris and Exit lines and Montclair to line are delays up to 20 minutes due to congestion caused by an early down tree and the overhead wire near North Broad Street. And not the other reminder of the line. Let's see what we got on Twitter. Okay, Andy Q, Andy Quinto, uh, sent us uh, this.
But waiting an hour and 23 minutes, um, I think that's way too much. It's way too much. Oops, we have... Oh, now we have downtown A and D trains are running local along Central Park West. While we request EMS assistance for someone at 125th Street. What else is new? Nothing. Same old, same old. Same issues. Nothing new. And now we have on the bab on the baby long branch. We could call it the Kevin Law branch. We have the 813 train for Babylon due to Penn Station at 927. It's operating 11 minutes late through Master Pequa. Due to a late arriving connection at Kevin Law Station. Here's why uh, we're going to do another video regarding uh, <laughs> making rants to uh, Kevin Law. But anyhow, let's stay focused on on this. Mm, nothing, nothing. We'll have nothing new. The next train to the Park Grand Central will be at 8.36. On track 24, we have train 15.84. And um, train 13.86 to Stanford on track 20. And then we have at 8.52, the Harlem Line to our southeast, the point on track 32. At 8.52. And at 9 o'clock, we have a uh, train 5.85 departing from track 108. And uh, if you're a Hudson Line rider, we have your next train will depart at 9.04. Got the train 8.83. Going to Poughkeepsie. That'll be the party on track 30 in about 20 minutes from now. Let's see what else we have. That we're covering all grounds. Uh, nothing, nothing new from Metro North. But, um, Pretty aware that they haven't reported cancellations as of yet. See, according to the my MTA, uh, the MTA's website, they informed at 8:34 that the Harlem line is experiencing delays up to 55 minutes. On the Hudson line. It lays up to 10 to 15. So if you're near the Hudson, any Hudson Line station, go for it. Uh, the New Haven Line has laser to 15 
15 minutes and also it's affecting the Danbury branch and the new in the new Canon branch. Or if you want to take a bus, you could take a if you're near Harlem 125th Street, you could walk to Madison Avenue and 123rd Street and take the BXM3 bus that will take you to Yonkers. So, uh, We have no up no updates whatsoever from Metro North on their Twitter page. Okay, we have a tweet from Matt Camper. Uh, thank you, ma'am. We mentioned we mentioned about that tweet uh earlier. Let's refresh the page. Because anything could pop up in a matter of seconds. Like in a snap of a finger. It's 8.50 p.m. Uh, yes, we have a new notification. Yes, indeed. Uh, Cuomo Corruption, you're absolutely right. Uh, this is the second incident that is going on on the commuter rails. In the afternoon, we had um, on the LIRR. Now we have it on Metro North. What's going on? To be honest, we don't know yet. To be honest, I don't know what is going on. To be honest, I really don't know. Why people are taking this risk, we don't know yet.
27 and a 52. A fifty seven. Okay, we have a uh, Damien uh, and Tingwin underscore dude. It says, any idea of the next Fordham train to Stanford is coming? Hashtag I'm cold. And Bob Peterson uh, is asking what's going on. Um, at Montbergale is uh, 24 hours, three incidents. That, that, that's a good point. Three incidents within 24 hours. That is too much. That's too much to digest. And especially okay we have that okay Metro North is a uh, reply to Bob Peterson and Kevin O'Malley that the New Haven line Harlow lines are experiencing delays to a person struck by a train in the vicinity of Merrill's and Tremont. Okay, one thing that I don't understand about this tweet is why they use and. Why they cannot say between? If it happened between two stations, let's zoom out a little bit. Let's let's see if. Okay, much better. Okay, you have Merrill's here. You have Tremont here. If Metro North is saying Merrill's and Tremont,
the person could say, where? That's why it's a, it's a miscommunication issue. But again, at this point right here, near my, the hospital that I was born, is that you have to split. Of the Hudson line and the Harlem and New Haven line that go together. But the thing is that they don't make the same stops. That's the point. The Harlem line makes the local stops, the New Haven makes the express stops. Okay, let's let let's go to the to their Twitter page that's more reliable. And the last thing that they posted was twenty four minutes ago. And it's nine o'clock right now. So imagine if a person is going to Connecticut. That person couldn't arrive until maybe mid 11 o'clock midnight. Okay, and the Q is sending me the schedule of the VXM four C that goes from Manhattan to White Bank. But too bad that happened so so late. And we have that the issue on the Babylon branch uh, has been resolved. We still have the issue on the fire train. We still have the issue on the Central Park West uh, line. But my point is the 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 MTA board hasn't addressed properly why there's a spike of these types of incidents. If you guys could recall that incident that happened during the, the, the committee meetings, that Monday, we had a person struck by a train at Kingsbridge Road. 
on the floor train. That same morning, Andy Pfeiffer was notified of it. Okay, uh, let's do a little bit of sync. And let's go to Matt Camper's channel. He's uh, right now he is live reporting what is going on. So let's tune in to his channel. My apologies, folks. Okay, here we are. You could do if you want to. That's a very good point. But I wouldn't do that. I would just rather just... Say, just, you know, take the train. I mean, I know there's delays and everything, but. Let's see. Uh, I got a couple of more notifications coming in. Nope. Okay. Just want to make sure it wasn't anything important there. Okay. So, taking a look. This train, this is 13, this is the 857 train from uh, Fordham. I think it's from, yeah, Fordham to Stanford. It's right now just left the area home, 125th Street. As right now headed into the area of the incident. Um, that's a good question, Edwin. Now, I don't know that. Does anybody in the live chat know that answer? If uh, B one trains take metro cards, because I don't know that. I've never taken metro or um B line service, so I know some of you guys in the live chat have used it. So. Let Edwin know that answer for sure, because I don't know off the top of my head that, because I've never taken uh, B1 service before. So that's an that's an excellent question, though. Ben just said this. Any update in the Harlem line delay southbound? Yeah, when was the last update we got? That's a good question. When was the last update we got about Harlem line service? Um, look at this. Looks like... I'm looking. When was the last update? Let me see. Um, over a half hour ago. Okay, thank you, uh, Pastor Shana. Okay, yes. Okay, thank you. I didn't know that because I actually want to take on um, Beeline one day. Definitely want to try out Beeline one day. Without a doubt, I would like to. I mean, that would definitely be something on my list to try out to see how it looks and everything. But I just wanted to know so that way, you know. I can try it out. So, can I zoom in with this website? Because I'm not familiar with this. Oh, there we go. Now I can zoom in. I don't know why it was. It was just lagging for a second. Again, I'm not. This is one of the things. I'll just show you guys right now. This is the um, mymnr.org website. That's the Metro North website. You see the difference with this from the Long Island Railroad website. You don't have the type of train. It doesn't even say how late it is. That's the annoying part. I think this website, I, now that I'm seeing it for the first time in real time, I mean, I've heard about it from Jason and everything, but Jason brought that up and said, look at it and everything. I was like, okay, you know, this is a good thing to use. I have it on my bookmarks and everything. So, But what I don't like about this website, I'll briefly bring it up, is that you don't have the type of train you are going to be on. The Long Island Railroad has that. You don't have even how late the train is. And you don't even have, which is annoying, the plant work or services, unplanned service changes on Metro North. Like for this instance, if you look at this website right now, do you see any, like, explanation point that they normally have for the Maya the World website? Nope. I'm going to have to send a tweet to Metro North to tell them they got to improve on that. I'm sorry. You know, they definitely got to improve on this website. This website has a lot of work. Still left to go. They need to change this. 
They need to change the interface up on this. They yep. need to get this up to date, like the LA the War. Because the LA the War website, the my LA the War website, is superb. It's a great tool. It, 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 it just... It's all, it's it's a great website. I mean, they have the bugs and stuff. It happens, but it looks great. It's no issues that I noticed from this web uh, that website to this. This website has a lot of work. They need to work on that. And I'm gonna have to after this stream, I'll send a tweet to Metro North to tell them uh, my thoughts on this website so I can give them my opinion on this because I think this needs to be spooced up. They need to have. For example, you have an explanation point. You would normally have an explanation point if it was Long Island Railroad at Melrose to show this is unplanned service change. And you don't have that. You don't have how late the drain is. If you look, I'm going to just go back one second. Um, go back here. You see how long the train will be arriving in. But do you have anything saying, like, oh, you know, how late it is? Nope. Once you go to this, it's, it's a lot of work. You see the difference right here. This has a lot of work. It has to get done. And I feel this is not really something that riders would like to see. You know, I think the Long Island, the Long Island Railroad, my LAWR website, looks so much better than this. Definitely does. Yeah, but... I, Yoki, I, I understand what you're saying, but what I'm trying to say is the website here. Let me just show you guys the uh, LA the World website. I show you guys the website all the time when there's an issue on the Long Island Railroad to track what's going on. Let me show you guys the example of the My LA the World website. I'm going to show you guys just a random station. I'm going to show you guys my home station. See the difference? Let me do this one. Do this one. See the big difference here? Whoa, this is a fail. It says 927 to Babylon. That's a fail. Let me do another. Uh, let me do another branch. Then. Let me do another branch. That's a little fail. I don't know why it does that. but Let me look at... Let me look at this string. Yeah. See right here? The website says the train number. It says the time of the train what type of train you're going to be on, how many cars. Met, my, Metro North does have that, thank God. And it says how late it's running. So you can see it in real time. Now, let me do this. Is there a, is something? I don't know. No, it's not coming on the Ron Conkerman branch. I thought there was something, but maybe I'm wrong. I don't know why. Something at the moment. But normally, for example, if you had something going on, plan, uh, unplanned, let's say, like, yeah, at Woodside earlier this afternoon. It would have an explanation point showing exactly the issue. There's an issue at this station. Then people click on it, and boom, that's what you see. You see what's going on in real time. But you don't have that, as you can see, with this. Nope, you don't have that. And that I don't like about this website, and I think they really need to boost this up. I'm sorry to have to do a rant based on that, but I feel... I think the rise of Metro North really should have just like the Long Island Railroad does. It's, it deserves better. It deserves better when it comes to information. It's like they don't want to give information to people on how late the train is. Come on. In real time. You know, that's annoying. You know, I just don't like it, what, I, what I'm seeing. So, you know, let me just do this. I'm going to briefly just do this. Yeah, I agree with you, Yoki. And I'm going to send right now, actually, while we're on the air. Just so I can do this. Get this out of the way. I think that your website, mymnr.org, needs to be updated. Improve. To have real-time information. Real-time real info. On how late the train is. Meanwhile, it's 9.13 in the evening. We still don't have any other update from Metro North regarding what happened uh, in the Bronx tonight. Other than that, the... Uh,
let's change the, the title of the Ah. Has. This would be better for us, the writers. So we can plan. Okay, so that's my tweet to Metronorm. I had to tweet that to Metronorm because I feel it is something important. I agree with you on that, too. Yes, Fashies. Now, I feel Amtrak should do the same thing. Yes. Yes. New Jersey Transit, I'm not familiar with, so I can't comment on New Jersey Transit. But the other one does a great job with their website. They keep it up to date. They put icons on based on, and it's in real time. And you can see the trades in real time. And I like that. And even the, I did a video, I think a few weeks ago, Three, four weeks ago, maybe about a month ago, I don't remember. Where I showed you guys this new feature where if you're on your smartphone and you want to just go directly to, let's say you have a particular train you take all the time, you can put that in your uh, bookmark on your phone directly and it will take you directly to that train that you're taking so you don't have to go through the My the Ball website all the time just to find it. And that's something, thank you for joining, Will. That's something that I think the LA Devoir did a great job with. I use that feature all the time, and it works out so well. I love the feature they put in. It's something that I think, you know, Metro North should look at. I And what I just tweeted, you see right here, the tweet I just sent to Metro North to tell them how I feel about it. And, you know, I hope they do something about that. You know, I think they really need to spoof up their website. Because it should be, and their customer, the customers of Metro North deserve to have the information in real time so they can plan ahead, they can know how late they're running, and that way, let's say they're on the train, they're having a problem, and blah, 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 whatever, and they're on the move. Thank you for joining. Um, they could do that right away. So Jason even just retweeted. So Jason just saw it too. So appreciate Jason seeing that. But I'm sure Jason agrees with me on that point. I'm looking out for people on Metro North. You know I don't talk about Metro North all the time. And I... Thank you, Evelyn. Thank you, Evelyn. And I definitely should. Uh, I'll work on that uh, after the stream because I might want to add... Yeah, you know, but definitely, at least, I haven't seen anything tonight, so let's hope that stays that way. Hopefully, again, this is not, you know, hopefully it doesn't happen. But if it does, then, you know, it'll be dealt with as soon as possible. So, let's just take a look again, my MNR, just to see this particular train. Where's this particular train? Okay, good news, this particular train just left for them, it looks like. So, it's almost 20 minutes, 19 minutes late at the moment. No, 19 minutes late at the moment. So that's good. That's good. Okay, so let's take a look at uh, another train here. Um, okay, this one just left um, leaving Williamsbridge right now. So. Oops. Sorry about that. So, um, let's see. Oh, Jason just tweeted hey, this. He said, I agree with you one of the Hold on, I'll be right back, folks. Oh, my, my returns. Uh, we are going to still continue monitoring what's going on. Nothing yet for Metro North. No updates whatsoever for the past 42 minutes. So... We just received another, another uh, notification sorry, from W. Yeah. Weiss, uh, notifying my C. Do apologize uh, for that. Huh, okay, interesting. Interesting. Interesting there, so. That's something to keep in mind there. Thank you for letting me know about that passage. I didn't even know, so. Because again, I don't take much of that often. I mean, you know. I don't I, as often as I want to, you know, and, you know, hopefully I'll be back on, I know I haven't done the station tour on Metro North this year, but, 
you know, I was hoping to do one next month, but, um, I'm doing something else, so, um, you know, um, definitely Metro North Station Tours will come back next year on this channel, um, for sure. And I know I have a Long Island Railroad Station Tour actually planned for a week from Saturday, so I'm looking forward to that. That's actually Long Island Home Branch, so um, it'll be even better, you know. So that will be announced um, next week. By the way, a reminder briefly, I'll let you guys know now, no Station Tour planned for tomorrow. I know I was planning on doing Station Tour tomorrow originally, but um, I'm going to be doing something tomorrow night in the city. Um, if you're watching Channel 5 at 7.30 in the morning, you surely will be, uh, most likely on TV, because I will be, um, attending the, um, Thursday, uh, Fox NFL Thursday, like, football pregame show and everything, so, um, take a look, Channel 5 tomorrow night, um, if you want to see that, uh, it's right before the New York, uh, the Giants and Patriots play at, um, I think it's around 8.30 in the morning night, so. Just want to let you guys know if you're interested and want to, and want to watch Channel 5 tomorrow night. So, um, just letting you guys know that. Um, what do I want to do? Is there any new information I have for you guys? If not, um, I'll keep an eye. Maybe what we might do. You know what I'll do? Let's see. If Jason's still alive, so I might just go to Jason. At least to get some more information. Unless okay, Jason's we live. just we received... Think, Jason's live still, so let me see. Jason's just, live covering his own thing. We just received a uh, update from Metro North. Uh, Harlem lines are expecting residual delays between 30 and 35 minutes. So the situation is going uh, to be resolved little by little. But the Harlem line is still affected by this situation. So we have delays up to between 30 and 35 minutes. Coming in. Um, this is the information we're just getting from Metro North. Our online service currently experiencing residual delays of 30 to uh, 35 minutes because of the issue in the vicinity of Mellows and Tremont Station. So 30 to 35 minute residual delays now on the Harlem line. So it appears to me that it looks like the situation might be getting resolved. This issue was first reported, I think, around 7.20, 7.30, something like that. Maybe about a couple, I think about a couple of hours ago we first learned of this. So, I think that makes sense. The problem is starting to be fixed, I think. I think it looks like they might be getting the problem resolved, so... And, uh, by the way, for those of you on my channel, I'm deleting in the stream from earlier. We had some technical problems, so I'd rather not have that stream up. So, we're just basically restarting everything. So, let me see if there's, by any chance, any article up from, um, um, any of the newspapers up there. Anything about this? Let me see. I'm going to search Metro North here. Just bear with me. I want to see it, because I know, um, earlier when we did coverage of what happened in the Long Island Railroad earlier this afternoon. Uh, there was an article about it. Nope, there's nothing about that. So, can't really report much about that at this point, since we don't have any information. What? Amtrak? Yes, I know about that, Edwin. Yes, I'm aware of that. Thank you. Okay, uh, we do have some updates from Metro North. They are now saying... Inbound service, uh, still not making stops at Fordham, Tremont, and Railroads. Customers should travel to home 125th Street and board a northbound train. So, basically, NYC Firewire. I haven't even looked, but I will take a look and see if there's any information. Because I know I did, and there was something from there earlier about... There was something that happened on the Long Island Railroad this afternoon. I forget which Twitter page it was. Forget which one, but let's see. Anything about this? No, you don't have anything. Nothing. 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 Yeah, NYC Firewire did report about what happened along on rail this afternoon. So don't nothing from NYC Firewire about this. So that's interesting. So again, as I was mentioning, inbound service that service towards Grand Central Terminal is still not stopping at Fordham, Tremont, and Melrose. Customers should travel to Home 125th Street and then board a northbound train. For service to Fordham. 
So we have uh, new information from Metro North. Uh, we have that the Danbury branch is experiencing delays of 30 to 35 minutes due to late connecting trains. Uh, we have on the New Haven line, trains draw towards GCT are not stopping at uh, Fordham. Customers are advised to go to 125th Street and uh, board uh, north slash eastbound train. Uh, meanwhile, the New Haven line, the New Haven line experiencing delays up to 50 minutes. So, let's go to Matt's chat. That's a good point. About, I will look into that later. If I get something, I'm going to check here. I'm not going to show you guys that on here. Uh-oh, don't tell me. Yeah, but problem. Hold on. There. Oh, hopefully we're working now. Continuing the situation as information. Loud labs. Uh, Whoops. Okay. Yeah, we are still good. Okay. Sorry, folks. I thought we had a problem here. Cohen Harmon stopped at 125th Street. Huh. Okay. But I'll take a look right now. I'm looking at my phone. Um. To see if there's anything. I doubt it, but I will just briefly take a look to see if there's anything um, from Loud Labs. No, it's nothing. Okay. Nothing. 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 Okay. So I just want to make sure. But that's a good point, but I'll see. If there's something later, I'll let you guys know. Uh, maybe I'll tweet it out if that's the case, if, it, if I'm off the air at that point. So we don't have any further information on what's going on right now. Uh, we just got delays from Metro North, and there's still delays resulting from this. They're still having service, inbound service, not stop at um, Fordham, Tremont, and Melrose right now. And there are delays, of course, um, in both directions because of this. Thank you for joining, Andy. Um, yeah, it's crazy what's going on, and I tweeted this out earlier. This is a third person that's been struck by a train that's caused major disruptions in the last 36 hours. We had on the 7 yesterday in the Steinway Tunnel, Long Island Railroad near Woodside this afternoon, and now this. It's just insane what's been going on the last 36 hours. It's been the last 36 hours. It's all started after 9 o'clock yesterday morning. It's been 36 hours. We've had three incidents. And I tweeted this out and I said this before, but the MTA board needs to look into this ASAP and do something about this because this is getting ridiculous. And I'll show you again what's going on. Um, I'll show you guys again if you're joining me. The picture um, is from Citizen. Citizen tweeted this, uh, um, sent this out earlier. Here's the photo. Uh, you see, that looks to be the train right there. And again, I'm not going to speculate as to what exactly I think happened, but I have that hunch feeling inside of me that says, I think I know what may have happened. And I'm not going to say it because, again, that is not really appropriate to speculate as to what exactly happened at this point. We don't know what happened on this in the Steinway Tunnel yesterday. We don't know exactly what happened at Woodside this afternoon. Um, I don't know if there's any buses that go through that area, but that's but that would be at the track, so I don't think there would be any buses impacted by this. I mean, if this was at street level, then yeah, I and mean, there would be bus to eat doors, but not when um, this is at, um, you know, platform level. I mean, <coughs> oh, God. So, let's see. Do you have any films in your laptop, Ed?
Okay, sorry about that. So, um, right now, uh, we just got an update. Um, Hudson Line service is actually now back on our close schedule. So that's some good news. So Hudson Line is back on our close schedule. Now remember, again, it's the Metro North map you're looking at right here. Now, in this screen right here is the Hudson Line. So the Hudson Line splits after Harlem 125th Street and then heads up this way. So, again, that's why I'll say this again, and that is that um, you definitely, um, this is why Hudson Line is back on the coast because they don't um, go through Melrose and Tremont. But, again, the Harlem and New Haven Lines do. So that's why Harlem New Haven Lines have been more impacted than anything else. Thank you to Cuomo, and thank you, Cuomo Correction, for letting me know about that. But uh, I have already reported that. Of course, I just mentioned that on the air. Uh, John just posted the video. I'll take a look afterwards about that. I can look at that at the moment. Let's see. Just trying to get some more information out to you guys on what's going on, but it looks to me, um, I don't know if the situation has been resolved at this point. Or has it not been? I don't know. That's an interesting question because we still have delays um, on the Harlem New Haven lines. So, to me, that tells me, depending on what the circumstances, I mean, we don't have any new information. Citizens not going to give any new information at this point. But what we last heard, this was almost 10 minutes ago, was that um, residual delays. Which to me tells me if they're saying residual delays, maybe the problem has been fixed. Maybe? I don't know. If they're saying residuals, they're saying residual. What they're saying here is that um, it's experiencing residual delays due to a person being struck by a train. It doesn't say earlier, which doesn't tell me much. So I don't know if the problem's been resolved or if they're able to. At, um, you know, the congestion's clearing up. Now, that's an interesting question. So, again, we're bringing back up the uh, my m &R website. That's my, uh, the Metro North's website, of course. So, we'll look at Melrose here and just see what's going on. Okay, we got some late trains in down. Outbound. Okay, this is interesting. We got a train, 939 of Crestwood, that's right now saying it's on time. This is outbound. Now, inbound, there's a 944 that's running late. So this is train 387. And right now, it's leaving GCT. So, now this train is late, and it's only at Bronxville right now. So, it's not even anywhere near Melrose. So, obviously, it's running late at this point. Don't know how long. That, I don't have an answer to. So, I'll just update this. Uh, see if Twitter... Oh, come on. Now Twitter's not even refreshing? Don't tell me Twitter. Let's just try this again, folks. Sorry. Just, I don't know what's going on. Why am I getting this weird? Okay. Metro North. What? Oh, that's, I don't even know. Oh, that's not an actual Twitter account there. Whoops. Okay. Yeah, it's a little slow for whatever reason, Twitter, for a sec. There we go. Yeah, that's not an actual tweet. Ah, oh, nope, 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 nope. Not showing that. That's not a real tweet, folks. That's just a fake tweet. I don't even know what that tweet is about. I don't even know what that tweet is about, if I were to be honest. I mean, that's just a weird tweet. Let's check Tremont. So, look at Melrose. Whoops. That's Melrose. Whoops. I'm going to look at Tremont. Tremont. They have bad news. Okay. We this have is Tremont. Night. If you could get this up. Just see what... Uh, 941 inbound late. Okay. On time. So, 
I don't even know at this point. We're trying to figure out what's going on, at least, with Metronor. Yes, thank you, Edelyn. I'm aware, and I'll take a look at it after the stream. Thank you. Uh, we got some new notifications. Okay, clever. No comments. Still, that's not. I don't think that's. A, I believe that tweet. So again, we are following this, but I don't really. Um, let's look at um the MTA website just to see what if any new information has come out, and I just haven't noticed it. I mean, there was just a few minutes ago, but I don't know if the problem's been fixed yet or not. Let's see. We got an issue. Slow speeds on Saturn Island Railway because of the weather, but that's that's no surprise. I mean, right there. So <laughs> they're saying, yeah, it's still saying residual. That's what they're saying. Oh, I didn't even know Tremont's a bad area, so. Yeah, 50 minute residual. They're all saying residual. Danbury Branch, uh, that was as of an hour ago. That was the last update we got on that. An hour ago, almost an hour ago on New Canaan. And Waterbury just got the latest update a moment ago. So, we don't really have much new information to pass along at this point. What? What is this about? No, man, come on. What? Okay, let me just um, change this. I'm going to change the search right here. Just search Metro North in general and just see if anything new pops up. No. I don't even know what that's about. I'm not going to show that. Nope. Yeah. Nope. Okay, we don't neither, have anything new. Neither, that's just a bad neither thing. Neither here. Don't have any new information to pass along. That's a bad thing. That's just, you know, the bad thing. Okay, here we go. Oh, good. Actually, I can get some trains in here. This is... But don't we have, like, you know... Okay, Grand Central. Um, Let's see, the late ones. We'll take a look at the late ones. Okay, late. Okay, here we go. Train 384. Let's see what... Okay, I didn't even know that. I'm not going to comment on that. But let's see. Train 384, this is... Oh, if this will even pop up. I don't even know if it's popping up. It's not even popping up. It's not even popping up. I don't even know why it's not. That's weird. That's not good. It's not even popping up, so that's not going to help me. Maybe I need to do it this way. No, something's going on with this website right now. I don't know what's going on, but oh, <laughs> Andy Q. Okay, I didn't thank you, Andy Q, for telling me that's an I'm doing a live stream, but yeah, it says. Yeah, it says not Metro North cares. We obviously we were obviously a parody account. Metro North doesn't really care. So that's not really a real tweet. I'm gonna tell you guys that right now. I'm not gonna block them. I mean, why would I want to block them? But still, I'm just not gonna even answer that. I sent it to Metro North directly to tell them my opinion. But you know, if you don't want to answer, so be it. I'm not even know. But I like Andy Key's tweet. You know. I mean, Andy Q, you know, I don't know. Check my, in your internet, what? I don't even know, but I'm just debating because, you know, I appreciate Andy Q, you know, saying that. But again, you know, thank you to him for telling Metro North Rise. But again, I just, you know, all I'm going to tell you guys is I kind of still, you know, actually Andy might be watching on the other stream, so I'm not going to even say Thank you to Andy Q. That's all I'm going to say. Thank you, Andy Q. Because I think J I'll just make sure we're still... Jason's still on me. I'm not sure, but I'll check. I'm not going to block them. I mean, why would I want to block them? Okay, yeah. So, for those of you, again, are watching from Jason's channel. Again, this is Camper News Network. Live here in the studios. 
we are covering what's going on on Metronorf, where we are still experiencing issues resulting from a person who was struck by a train uh, in the vicinity of Melrose and Tremont this evening. This happened about two hours ago now. We first got word of this, and right now, what we know is Metro North is saying, right now, we have differences between branches right now. What we know is the Hudson Line is back on our closest schedule. As the Hudson Line, again, I'll bring up the Metro North ramp. It's not right, because I know some people are going to ask, why is the Hudson Line on our close and all the other branches are? Well, the Hudson Line, you see, this is the green. Once you get... Okay, let, let's... Let's once again answer why the Hudson Line is on a closer schedule at this point. And here's why. We're using Google Maps. And this is the area where the lines split. This is the area of 149th Street between, let's say, the hospital that I was born at, Lincoln Hospital, and Austos Community College. And here you have uh, Park Avenue. So, if you happen to walk on East 149th Street, let's say between Grand Concourse and Morris Avenue, you're going to see a bridge. And on both sides, you're going to see Metro North tracks. But if you look towards the north, here you have the, the Bronx General Post Office, and here you have the, the tracks. Let's, um, let's see if we could do a satellite view. Okay, much better. This is the point where um, all three lines uh, merge right here in this bridge. Once again, we have 149th Street. We have Lincoln Hospital right over here, where I was born at uh, 33 uh, years ago. And uh, here's the General Post Office at Grand Concourse. And here's the Mont Haven uh, Junction Way. And you see that uh, all three lines are uh, split. You have towards the northwest, the Hudson Line. And towards the northeast, the Harlem and New Haven Lines. And that's why we're having the and that's why the Hudson line is a uh, close to schedule, we could say at this point. Let's go to Matt Camper's uh B. So, um, let's see. Don't have anything else at this point. We're just trying to get you the latest update. Yeah, thank you, John. I appreciate that. And it's a major problem. Yes. Yes, it is a major problem. It is a major problem. And I do agree. And again, I feel the MTA board should just say stop and just address this issue. Because there needs to be something done about this. I mean, this is getting ridiculous. What happened on the 7 yesterday was totally unacceptable. And it happened in the tunnels, which makes me think, what really happened? Why was there somebody who got struck by a train in a tunnel? Yeah, the mainline train got uh, mainline train got canceled. This, uh, That's what happened on, uh, near Woodside. That was not at Woodside, I don't think. That was near Woodside. So, they screwed the they canceled a mainline train when they could have canceled two battle on trains, but nope. 
They don't care. The only certain demographic they care about. And then, um, and then now. So it's just with Metro North. So it's like, it's ridiculous what's going on. It's like they need to just do something about this and get the situation addressed now because this is getting ridiculous. It's going to one day, it's going to get to a point where, okay, yeah, and again, I'll take a look at John's video after the stream, so I promise, I will, because I want, do want to hear that. Huh, interesting. Okay. But, again, I'm not going to, you know, um, let's just try to get you the latest information. We don't have anything at this point. And, again, it's like, you know, we get sporadic information, but not like the information I was hoping we would get at this point. The same residual, but does that to me mean that the problem's been fixed? Because if they're saying the problem's been fixed, then I could say, okay, maybe we might be able to stop the health and the stream at this point. But we don't have that. I don't have that information. That's not going to help me make a proper decision on what I want to do to continue the stream. If I want to stop the um, end the stream or continue the stream. I have to have that information to be able to do that. So again, my, the Metro North website, uh, we'll take a look again. Let me see if I can get the train stuff. Back. Hopefully it's working now. Maybe let's it was see. Let's earlier. Yeah, I don't know. Let's see. Let's go to the My Metro North website. Let's do a refresh here. Okay. Uh, nope. Nothing. Nothing. Okay. Man got a train. Well, we have to do it the other way. Marrows. See, now the train, that train, uh, number 384, is approaching is at Botanical Garden right now. Else, but I don't know if it's going to. That's the question. Is it going to stop there? Now, again, I'll keep an eye on this. We'll keep this up because this is the inbound service. Now, if it if it makes if it like stops at Fordham, then that will give me a signal that the problem's been fixed. But if it's not, if it doesn't, that the situation's still going on. But I can't tell that. And this is not even, it's not even letting me zoom in. Anymore. Okay, so here we go. So right now, this train's at uh, Botanical Gardens. Uh-oh, don't tell me the video paused. Uh-oh, we got a problem here. If Fordham train on to Melrose, but I don't know if it's going to. That... Okay, there we go. Sorry, folks. I don't know what happened there. It just stopped all of a sudden. I don't know why. At least the stream didn't, you know, all of a sudden, the OBS didn't come in. Okay, at least we know that the train is at Fordham as okay. we speak. It seems services restored, right? Since according to this incident, the... Okay, we have that that train number three eighty four is right now at Forum. So we could say that service is resuming, but we are not sure yet. It is nine forty eight. In the evening, is right. That train is right now at Fordham. Um. Uh, let's see. Is this train stop? 
Um, okay. Interesting. This train has stopped the fort. Uh, did they just fix the... Is the problem... Oh, that's a fail. Let me fix that. Hold on. Let's try to get this back. I just noticed that train... Yeah, that train is stopped. Maybe they are stopping there again. Maybe they are stopping again at Fort on Melrose and Tremont. Because it seems to me this train is stopping there. This is a... Um, this was according to the latest update that said, and I'll look at the Harlem line specifically for this one. It said for the Harlem line was that inbound service will not stop at Fordham, Tremont, and Melrose. This was about a half hour ago. And according to this, this train has stopped there. So it seems to me that I think they may have resolved the problem. And I think service is stopping there again. But they're not... They're not clarifying this. They're not clarifying this. This is very confusing, folks. I'm trying to figure out what's going on, and I'm like, let me tweet this out, because this is important information. Unless Metro North has said something, and I haven't seen it. Neither See, any let, let, no, let's, I'm going to tweet this. Let's check Twitter. According to my MNR, dot org train three eighty four is stopping at Fordham. It appears to me that they might have resolved the earlier incident. Okay, so that is interesting. That's a good point, John. They might be, you know, not telling customers because they want to just screw people. Tell them they can get to you for a lift to bed on. But according to this, this train is stopping there. This is according to this. According to the website. Yeah, see now the train is moving. Let's see. Does it stop at Tremont? This is going to be the big question mark. The big question. If they stop at Tremont, Tremont okay, and Merrill. Looks like then the problem might be resolved. Let's see. Is it stopping at Merrill's and Tremont? Let's see. Okay, come on, come on. Okay, the train's four blocks away from Tremont. The train just slowly stopped in the middle. Okay, now right, it's it's moving. Moving. let's see what this does. It's moving. It's going to stop at Tremont. Yes, it stopped at Tremont. Fordham, Melrose, and Dream. Now, just stop for a second. So, I'm trying to figure this out. Let's see. Uh, we got some new tweets coming in. Let's see. Anything? Uh-oh. Yep. Thank you, Jason. I just got that. Thank you. I know. Thank you. Okay. So, we don't have any new information. This is not helping me. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Now, this is interesting. The train is stopping at Tremont. I think service might be restored. I think that it is. And not not saying it. Metro North doesn't want to say it because they just want to screw everybody. Screw me. You're screwed. Okay. Uh, update from Metro North. Scattered residual delays up to 30 minutes. Service. Okay, we just got it. 
Here we go. Here's the answer I was looking for. Service to Fordham Tremont and Melrose has resumed. Service has resumed. To we got Fordham, it. Tremont and Melrose. That's we got it. Okay. Just like I told you guys, it looks like they were um stopping at Fordham earlier. Just about, what, five minutes ago? We got it. That is the case. That is good news. So, 30-minute delay scattered now. Uh, residual delays on the whole line. The train is going express? Well, I'm looking at this, and... I don't know the Metro North schedule too well, so... Again, I don't know. Maybe it might be. That's a hard one train. Now, again, I don't know if... Let's see if I can bring up the Metro North schedule briefly. Because... Normally, I thought the Harmon trains are the ones that stop at uh, Melrose and Tremont. So, let me see if I can bring this up. Here we go. Okay. Um, Harm. Um, Harm. Here we go. Harm. Here we go. Okay. Let's see. Look at the weekday schedule. I'll just take a look. Because it would help me better understand. Here we go. Monday through Friday. This is to New York. I'm looking for, yeah, to New York. Well, Melrose is right. Melrose to Treon. Here we go. Right there. Okay. Okay, so I'm looking for the PM. Yeah, um... Oi, we still Yeah, have... I think that train might have been uh, stopping there. That's why. Yeah. We still have that train halted at Tremont. And this train is about 12 minutes late. That train is 12 minutes On late. Lines rest. Yeah, so, just depends, but... Yeah, some do. It depends on the train, though. It depends on the train, based on that. But, that's at least some good news. So, I think with that, we're going to wrap this up, because um, the problem has been resolved, service has been restored. And uh, with that, uh, we're going to wrap up our live stream for tonight. Uh, thank you for joining us, and we see you the next one.